Take a page out of Drake's playbook and never forget where you came from. The Six Guard dropped a new video today and it features the entire cast of Degrassi. Talk about Throwback Thursday. It was Drake's breakout role before he was Drizzy, before he was Hotline Blingin', and before Pusha ethered him. Yep, great video, but we haven't forgotten. I'm Sharon Carpenter, your quiz presenter at your phone's epicenter, and this is HQ Trivia. We're using your brain, we'll have your popping champagne. We see you out there, players. Hello to Ashley in Albuquerque. Hi to Fly Me's Cat and Brett Basil as well. Big hello to Everett in Army Basic Training right now and his mom Sparkles. Alex, aka Vanderspark, is playing from sweltering Southern California. Stay cool, Alex. And hi to Bill and Mary Kane from Sun Manlympian. Good luck to all of you players in the game. The rules are simple. I'm going to ask a series of questions from easy to hard. You've got 10 seconds to tap that answer. You get it correct, you move on. Ask all 12 right, you win or split the cash. And do not forget, inviting your friends to HQ using your code can score you extra lives. You can use one per game, just not on the final round. And today we are giving away a timeless $5,000. That will get you a sublime outfit for your high school reunion, some really big rings if you've got a really big team, and a whirlwind trip to the six to see what all the fuss is about. But before you take care, you have to prepare. Let's get to the quizzing, shall we? Here we go with Q1. Which of these is not one half of the dairy product, half and half? Milk, cream, ammonia. Is the glass half full or half empty? HPTs. Nothing kickstarts your day like that first cup of java. I will take milk or cream or half of each, but I will skip the ammonia. Thank you very much. Ammonia, of course, is your winning answer. 473,000 of you with a caffeine boost here on Q1. Ammonia has a putrid smell and probably tastes even worse. Do not try it at home, folks. Q2. The boxing world's Don King is most famous for being a what? Nitro motor, match promoter, java coder. You ask Mike Tyson, you may have a few extra words to add on to that. Tyson gave him a warm greeting the other day, throwing a cup of water in his face. No love lost there, but no boxing match is complete without the match promoter. Of course, 428,000 of you with a knockout punch. When it comes to fights, the best thing you can be is a promoter. No punches to the face, just H2O instead. Way better. Q3. What is 10 to the 6th power? 100, 1 million, 1 trillion. I'll take any of them if they come in dollars. 10 to the 6 equals a 1 with 6 zeros after it. Roughly the amount of times I'm going to watch that new Drake video. Yeah, it's 1 million is your answer 324,000 of you are one in a million running through the six with the power of 10 woes just doesn't have the same ring to it does it q4 atoms of different substances combined to make what molecules protons quarks taking you back to science class on this one but do you remember What's better than a combo, even when we're not talking about dinner orders? When you plug an oxygen atom into two hydrogens, you are left with a water molecule. Watch out, Don King. Molecule is your answer. 293,000 of you with a combined win there. Protons and quarks are subatomic particles. They aren't lesser. They're just a little smaller. Q5, which of these words means about to happen? Imminent, imminent or eminent? They're all so similar. What's about to happen here? I can't wait to find out. There's nothing like the anticipation before something really cool happens. First kiss, first car, first HQ win. It's all imminent. That's right, 251,000 of you picked the right one. Eminent is to be widely known. Imminent with an A means throughout. Only imminent with two I's means you're on the brink. You're on the brink of something great right now. Moving on to Q6. Another is to do what? Race Clydesdales, surf beers, work as a bouncer. Do you remember this game? Were you alive when this game was out? 
Usually these games take place in a far off land, exotic and a little weird, but not this one. It's a place all too familiar, and they wanted you to serve beers. 114,000 of you serving up a win here. In the game Tapper, you had to serve those insatiable luscious beers before they ravaged the bar. My type of game. Q7. In Ferris Bueller's day off, what city's NHL jersey does Cameron wear throughout the film? Chicago, Detroit, Toronto. Throughout the film? Take a shower, will ya? A classic film that never fails to get me dancing. Whether it was to Ferris or hockey teams, Cameron took loyalty very seriously, especially when it comes to Detroit. And those Red Wings, 58,000 of you totally nails that one. Writer John Hughes was a huge Gordie Howe fan. Stop, look around, HQTs. You're twisting and shouting your way to Q8. Which of these universities has a mascot that does not represent a living creature? Loyola Marymount, Tulane, Pepperdine. How well do you know your mascots? Now it must get pretty hot and sweaty wearing those massive fuzzy suits and cheering like your life depends on it. Better keeping it cool mm. over at Pepperdine. Who's dining on that win? That was a pretty brutal question there. 30,000 of you gone, but 24,205 of you dining on that win. Now inspired by their Malibu location, Pepperdine's mascot is a wave of water named Willie. Nice shirt there, Willie. Q9, which is the title of both a Toni Morrison novel and a Coldplay single. Paradise, a mercy, a sky full of stars. Great author, great band. What do they have in common? You never know what these celebs have in common, right? There are only so many titles for soft rock and prose, and this one happens to be Paradise. 15,272 of you basking in Paradise here on Q9. Paradise was an Oprah's book club selection and Coldplay single. We all know true Paradise, though, is just knowing Oprah in the first place. I want Oprah to be my BFF. Q10, what is the only US state with a unicameral legislature? Nebraska, Oklahoma, Kansas. Less complicated than it sounds. There is nothing wrong with having only one house. We can't all be real estate titans. Nebraska is the state we are talking about here. 6,467 of you still in a great state on Q10. 49 of our states have a state senate and either a house or state assembly. That's a bicameral legislature, but Nebraska is keeping it minimal. Q11, the penultimate round. Let's go. Which CSI spin-off use the Who's Bab O'Reilly as its theme song, CSI Miami, CSI Cyber, CSI New York. So many CSIs. Which one could it be? So many crimes, so many cities, and even more theme songs. Keeping those bodies warm with their hot jams. It's CSI New York for the win. 2,213 of you got that one right. The creators of CSI are clearly the Who fans. Two of their other tracks were used for the other two shows. DNA kits at the ready because we're investigating the final round with 2,213 players left in the game and 5,000 big ones up for grabs. Who is about to win big today? Let's find out. Q12, which has been the last name of only one U.S. Supreme Court justice, White, Rutledge, Thomas. Fingers crossed for all of you. The most powerful judges in all of the states, even more so than Judy, we had a John Rutledge and a Wiley Rutledge as well. A Byron White, but was he a one and only? Don't doubt it. Only Clarence is the pioneering Thomas on the bench. Thomas is the winning answer. And we have 847 winners. You smashed it. <laughs> Well done, massive congratulations, 847 winners this afternoon. What are you going to do with the cash that you just won? That's $5.91. We've got 
crab chick not feeling crabby at all after that win we've got b gaff 214 he didn't make any gas in today's game we've got so poonies or so ponies uh slam 95 that was a slam dunk what are you guys going to do with that five dollars and 90 cents maybe get yourself a cappuccino made with half and half download some who tracks or get a sports jersey and twist and shout in it there's a lot you can do with that cash. That was a delightfully good game, HQTs. Might I say the best I ever had. I'm Sharon Carpenter. As always, you can find me on the socials. I'm right here. Come say hello. Let me know how you did today. And we'll see you back here tonight at 9 p.m. for another chance to win that money. $5,000 of it. Until then, have a superb day, my lovelies. I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs>